Morning everyone, um, Friday 8th of April, um, yeah, welcome to everybody again, um, to my page, um, thanks for all your followers and I had loads of questions yesterday, I had lots and lots of questions regarding different things regarding LRD, post-op, um, regarding blood pressure and things from a guy, I think his name was Barry, um, yeah, I had loads of, um, loads of stuff yesterday, so, um, but anyway, so um, the video today is just like a little sh a shopping haul today. Um, I must admit, um, probably I think as shopping come to seventy cent pound, um, it was just a few bits and bobs. But m m my stuff is taking up the bulk of the shopping. If I'm honest, it's like I think I'm going to have to just find some slight alternatives. And but it's fine. I got meals. It's just all the bits and bobs that sort of go around it. So. I'm going to go through what I've bought today um, and just show you some of the stuff that I've got. I've got a couple of new things that I've bought. I've got some bits I've found that I've been looking for for a while. Um, so I'll just move the camera slightly and we'll start off with um, the old the old Bob Milk. I've got myself some more Bob Milk. Um, getting on really well with that, finding it, finding it really good. So, um, yeah, let's get the camera back into position. Um, so, yes... Bob milk, um, some fridge raiders, um, usual bits and bobs there, normal ones. I prefer they're they're better than the southern fried ones, I've, and, and the macros are better on them anyway. Um, these I've had some of these before, and I, they lasted me ages. And I mean, they're five for whatever they are, um, five for three quid or something stupid like that. I think they are two for two quid, whatever. Um, Ambrosia, light custard pots so uh five of them for whatever they were um so yeah they're a little they'll probably last me a good couple of weeks anyway um i've got some of these i've not had them um just some ch cheese strings they were on offer i think they were 75p or something so i just bought them they, they, they look all right um i know people have been eating them so they've been all right um yeah i mean they're like 4.6 per stick or whatever. Um, got some more protein bagels. Um, yeah, been having them. Not not too regular. I try not to eat too much bread. Do you know what I mean? I mean that the, 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 they're um, per bagel. The, the, I mean they're they're pretty good actually. They're like eight and a half grams of protein per bagel. So they're they're not too sad. But it's just an alternative. Like I'm gonna have some lunch in a little while. I've got some salmon left from last night so i'm just gonna have a salmon and maybe cream cheese bagel or something like that from from a lunch today because i've not had breakfast this morning but i did obviously have my morning uh my morning fuel um shake so yeah stocked up on them again got um what did i get i managed to get uh vanilla always seems to be sold out quite quick so i've got five vanilla i've got a couple of strawberry and i've got three chocolate so Stocked up on another ten. Um, these are these. Are, I'm enjoying these actually. Not so much the peas in them. The peas are not too good, but they're they're edible, um, and they're all right. They're 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 a little bit high in fat, but you're only having. I'm only having like just a few, like a little tiny fucking handful of them or whatever. Chip shop curry snack mix um, from Asda. If you like chip shop curry flavour, they're good. Um, so yeah, there's them. Um, couple of packets of seafood sticks just easy they're easy easy shit and they easy to eat and and whatever what not i mean they're, they're like they're, they're peanuts really fat on them 7.2 grams of protein um i don't know that's per 100 grams so they're 250 gram packs so whatever i'll probably only normally eat two or three of them at a time or whatever um some more of the yogurts um for my granola um which i, I have like, i like um obviously some more granola another box of uh chop chunk um i've got some but i, I just I, I've got, I just add that to it um right so i've got these these are no um low sugar high protein fat free uh protein per pot is uh uh, 100 grams. So, what are these? What size pots are these? Of fucking god, low. Um, over 150 grams. So, 
uh, yeah, like um, 12 grams or something per pot. But I thought I'd give them a try. Uh, lemon cheesecake. Lind this Nestle Lindell Pro. So they were on offer for so many for four for whatever they were. So I've got two lemon cheesecake and I've got two Bonoffi pie ones. Um, yeah, I'm going to give them a go. Um, over time, see how they get on. Um, 18 grams of protein per pot, so they're not too sad. And the one thing that I've been searching for for a few weeks now, which I've had tried all different fucking supermarkets to get, is I finally found the Lindell Pro Plus um, Nestle drinks that were recommended to me by John. Uh, raspberry and vanilla ones. I've not tried one yet. Um, I'll probably, I probably might, might wait till tomorrow and have one, or I might have one later, we'll see. Um, but yeah, they only had three. They only had three in Asda, so um, yeah, I just, I just grabbed the three. So yeah, overall, that was the shopping haul today. Um, as I say, I bought some veg and stuff and um, for meals and stuff. Um, I'll be getting ready probably in about another week's time maybe to do this chicken curry batch which I'll obviously, um, I'll go through it as I do it and I'll show you all the herbs and spices and whatever and there's no sugar in it at all. So um, I'll go through that and make the chicken curry. Obviously the rice is just rice and, and I, I ate rice last night. Um, not last night, night before I had rice. I think I mentioned it and, and I had no issues with rice. So I know I can eat rice now. So yeah, it was just a, it was just a video just to... Um, show sort of some of the some of the shit i buy like um i mean I've, I've still got plenty of fish and i've still got plenty of like meals made and stuff like that but these are all the other sort of bits and bobs that i buy that um i sort of use on quite a regular basis so um yeah that's that's today's shopping all it does work out um not mega expensive but all I, what I take into consideration is the fact that I'm not buying all the shit that I used to buy. I mean, there, I do have got some chocolate and that for Mandy and Chloe. They asked for some chocolate and stuff. So, the, the, But, I mean, I used to buy loads of that shit, excuse me, and cakes and fucking whatnot. Um, so that's out the window. And, and I'll be honest, like, the amount of money we've saved on takeaway foods and, uh, and stuff as well is, like, that is quite phenomenal really I, I think working it back if you used to work it out over the last sort of 10 weeks probably be quite probably be quite scary as to the fact of how much money we actually used to spend on takeaways and stuff um so yeah i mean one sort of i still think is i still think we're not spending as much money if you take into the, the takeaways into the shopping uh or you add that into the weekly money that you was spending as I say, if me, Mandy and Chloe had any type of takeaway, whether it be Indian, kebabs, Chinese, KFC, McDonald's, shit, um, he's probably looking at between 20, depending on what it was. Indian's obviously more expensive. Chinese is not mega cheap. Um, so 20 to 35 quid every time, and maybe we'd have one at the weekend, maybe one in the week, maybe two in the week. Um so there's definitely a saving on on, on food uh, per se, as in takeaway rubbish and and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, that was my little haul this morning. There, I've got enough there now to keep me going for a couple of weeks. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, that that's it. I, I hope everyone's getting on okay. As I say, a lot of questions yesterday regarding different things, which I think I try. I think I answered everybody. Um, it's difficult when you're getting loads and loads of messages, but I'll go through them meticulously one at a time and try to answer everybody. Um, yeah. Um, any questions? Um, any 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 questions at all, really? I mean, even... Not that I'm a doctor. As I say, I've said it before, I'm not a doctor or nothing, but I can only give you the guidance that I've been using, and, and it's working well for me. I know a lot of people are still struggling. There's people on our WhatsApp group that are, that are having a, quite a few issues with different things who are even further down the line than me. So it does happen. Um, as I say, I think I've been quite lucky. A bit of a Wolverine, me, myself, the way I heal. I've had ops in the past and broken bones and cuts and 
all sorts of shit over the years and just seem to just bang and I'm healed and I'm all right. So, um, yeah, I've been quite lucky. But uh, any 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 questions, feel free. Um, message me on Instagram or whatever if you want. Um, if you want my di if you want direct contact away from Instagram, even though you can do it with like private message on there. If you say want to want to contact me through WhatsApp or something like that, it's fine. Just let me know um, and I'll give you my details or I'll add your details whatever way you want to do it. Um, I'm here to help as much as I can. Um, as I say, John's another good source. Um, Gastric John, he's another great source of information. Um, I'm actually meeting up with him in about a month's time. We're going to have a little walk around London and he, he made me laugh. He said, oh, we'll have some lunch. And so, yeah, anything we can sort of suck. Um, not, you know, joke, jokingly, but yeah, so... Any any questions, as I say, and thanks for all the follows. I've picked up a lot of new followers again. Um, I've just accepted another couple before I come on and done this video, so everything's going good. Um, I'll let you know on the Lindell, uh, the, the Bonoffi things and all that, let you know if they're any cop. Um, but, yeah, that's it for now. So, everyone, have a good um, weekend. I won't, I won't vlog again till after the weekend now. So everyone have a nice weekend, whatever it is you may be doing. We're having a nice quiet one this weekend after um, the busyness of last weekend. Mandy's got a couple of days off. So we're going to spend a little bit of family time together. Um, yeah, and and that, that's our plans for this weekend. We'll probably end up out. I think I'm gonna, we're going to take the dog out and stuff and go for a little stroll and whatever, whatnot. But um, yeah, apart from that, we're having a quiet one. So I can reply to people. Um, so, yeah, any questions, as I say, anything at all, and everyone enjoy your weekend, and all take care, and good luck on your journeys, and uh, speak to you again soon.